In this video, we shall learn the names of some of the important ocean currents and the direction of flow and their influence on the coastal regions. To begin with the first one, well to the north and south of equator, there are two westward flowing currents, the north equatorial currents and the south equatorial currents. Now these currents derive their energy mainly from the trade winds that blow from northeast and southeast in the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere respectively towards the equator. Because of the deflection created by the rotation of the earth, that is the Coriolis force acting on it, these currents move almost towards west. Between the westward flowing currents, there is a weaker current flowing in the opposite direction and it is known as equatorial counter current. The north and the south equatorial currents pile water up against the western coast of South America and because of the trade winds, they are weak along the equator. Next one is the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream together with its northern extension towards Europe, the North Atlantic Drift is a powerful, warm and swift Atlantic Ocean current. It originates in the Gulf of Mexico, exits through the Strait of Florida. When I say the word strait, it refers to a narrow strip of water which joins two water bodies and follows the eastern coastline of the United States and Newfoundland before crossing the Atlantic Ocean. At about 30 degree west and 40 degree north, it splits in two with the northern stream crossing to northern Europe and the southern stream recirculating off the West Africa. The Gulf Stream influences the climate of the east coast of North America right from Florida to Newfoundland. In fact, the climate of Western Europe and Northern Europe is warmer than it would otherwise be. This is due to the North Atlantic Drift, one of the branches from the tail of the Gulf Stream. So this is again a warm Atlantic Ocean current which runs from the Grand Bank near Newfoundland to Western Europe. In fact, the warm Gulf Stream current is deflected towards the east under the influence of the westerlies and the rotation of the earth and reaches Europe as the North Atlantic Drift. It flows in three directions northward to the Arctic region as the Norwegian current, eastward to UK and southward along the Spanish coast as the cool Canaries current. It is a warm current that keeps the ports of Europe free from ice even in winter. Next one is the Canary current. Now the Canary current is an eastern boundary current that branches south from the North Atlantic current and flows southwest about as far as Senegal where it turns west and later joins the Atlantic North Equatorial current. The current is named after Canary Islands. Next one is the Labrador current. The Labrador current is a cold current in the North Atlantic Ocean which flows from the Arctic Ocean towards south. It is a continuation of the West Greenland current and the Baffin Island current. It flows along the coast of Labrador and passes around Newfoundland continuing south along the east coast of Nova Scotia. It meets the warm Gulf Stream at the Grand Banks southeast of Newfoundland and again north of Outer Banks of North Carolina. The combination of these two currents produces heavy fog and has also created one of the richest fishing grounds in the world. In spring and early summer, this current transports icebergs from the glaciers of Greenland. The waters of the Labrador current have a cooling effect on the 
Canadian Atlantic provinces and coastal New England but rarely have a significant effect on waters south of Cape Cod. Next one is the Brazilian current. The westward flowing south equatorial current splits as it approaches the continental shelf of Cape Sao Rock, Brazil. The south equatorial current that flows north becomes the North Brazilian current and the branch flowing south becomes the Brazilian current. It is a western boundary current like the Gulf Stream and is indeed its southern counterpart. However, the Brazilian current is a weak western boundary current carrying warm subtropical water which runs south along the coast of Brazil from about 9 degrees south to about 38 degrees south and is generally confined to the upper 600 meters of water column. It joins the Malvinas current at the Argentina Sea making it a temperate sea. Next one is the Bengula current. The Bengula current is a cold water current which has its origin in the Arctic Ocean and flows along the coast of Southwest Africa generally between Cape Town in the south to the position of the Angola Bengula front in the north at around 16 degrees south. The current is driven by the prevailing southeasterly trade winds forming the Bengula upwelling system. The cold nutrient rich waters that upwell from around 200 to 300 meters depth in turn fuel high rates of phytoplankton growth and sustains the productive Bengula ecosystem. Next one is the Kurushio current. Kurushio current is a strong western boundary current in the western North Pacific Ocean. It begins off the coast of Taiwan and flows northeastward past Japan where it merges with the easterly drift of the North Pacific current. Next one is the Oashio current. The Oashio current is a cold sub-Arctic ocean current that flows south and circulates counterclockwise in the western North Pacific Ocean. It collides with the Kurushio current of the eastern shore of Japan to form the North Pacific current. The waters of the Oashio current originate in the Arctic Ocean and flow southwards via the Bering Sea. The current has an important impact on the climate of the Russian Far East, mainly in Kamchatka and Chukotka. The waters of the Oashio current form probably the richest fishing grounds in the world owing to the extremely high nutrient contents of the cold water and the very high tides in some areas which further enhances the availability of nutrients. It also causes Vladivostok to be the most equatorward port to seasonally freeze and require ice-breaking ships to remain open in winter. However, this has relatively little effect on the fish yield through the Sea of Okats because the large tides mean freezing does not occur so easily. Next one is the California current. The California current is an eastern boundary current so named because it lies on the eastern side of the major ocean basin that is Pacific Ocean. All the eastern boundary currents flow equatorward and are characterized by intense coastal upwelling that brings cold nutrient rich water from the depths to the surface. Now this along with oxygen and energy from the sun promotes the growth of phytoplanktons and which serves as a base of marine food chain supporting an amazing diversity of marine life including the invertebrates, fish, birds and mammals. The California current is among the most biologically productive marine environments in the world. 
it is characterized as having numerous circular surface formations which are called eddies which form by meandering section that spins off in different directions the california current keeps temperatures mild along the coast during summer months next one is the peru current the peru current also called as the humboldt current system flows north along the western coast of south america it is an eastern boundary current because it lies towards the east of pacific ocean and flows in towards the equator the current extends from the southern chile to northern peru where cold upwelled waters intersect warm tropical waters to form the equatorial front the sea surface temperatures of the coast of peru around the 5th parallel south reach temperatures as low as 16 degree celsius this is not the nature of tropical waters as most other regions have temperatures above 25 degree celsius the upwelling brings nutrients to the surface which supports phytoplankton and ultimately increases biological productivity this current has a cooling influence on the climate of chile peru and and ecuador it is also largely responsible for the aridity of the atacama desert in northern chile and coastal areas of peru and also of the aridity of southern ecuador the air of the coastal region is cooled by the current and thus is not useful in generating precipitation that is it hardly brings any rain finally we come to the indian ocean the indian monsoon current now it refers to seasonally varying ocean current found in the tropical region of northern indian ocean during winter the flow of the upper ocean is directed westward from near the indonesian archipelago that is indonesian group of islands to the arabian sea during the summer the direction reverses with eastward flowing extending from somalia into the bay of bengal these variations are due to the changes in the wind stress associated with the indian monsoon the seasonally reversing open ocean currents that pass south of india are referred to as the winter monsoon current and the summer monsoon current